I'm getting some tongue tied. Um. Hey guys, it's Brenda from my V Rubens Cradle. How are you guys? I have been sick all last week. It was not fun. My voice is still itchy and I'm trying so hard not to cough. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was sick all last week. It was horrible. My voice still isn't completely uh, recovered. My throat is still very sore, but um, I want to come here and do a video. I got a YouTube email saying my year in review, and it was a wonderful year. So thank you to all my subscribers and all the people who like and comment on my videos. It helps my channel out a lot. And I wouldn't be here without you guys. I really, really wouldn't. So thank you so much for everything, for being here and spending some time with me. Um, so yeah, that was a nice surprise from YouTube. I get one of those every year. My 2021 year wasn't as good as my 2022. So thank you, everyone. I'm here today, even though I'm not feeling that well. I might not stay for too long but um i wanted to show you some gifts and i hope i don't think my mom or my brother watches my channel so <laughs> i want to show you what i made them um as many of you know who follow me um i've been like last year i was uh unemployed due to covid i was sub teaching but the school where I was teaching was closed for all after Christmas, all the way up until March, or not even. And even after that, I wasn't employed until May. So I was living off my savings, and it completely depleted, and the credit cards were piling up. And uh, so now that I'm back at work at a term position... I can't wait for the permanent, but um, I've been slowly rebuilding my bills, my credit cards, um, so money is still not always there, especially since uh, Francis had surgery, an emergency surgery, and he was unemployed for two months, so uh, his income was also gone, so... <laughs> So this year, I decided to use my creativity and um, try and make something again for my family. I've made them uh, homemade gifts in the past, but this year I've decided to try something different. And um, also allow you know that I make like the like thing, things with the rope things with yarn here's one like i found out i'm really good at making like macrame it's macrame and i really enjoy doing it so um i looked up some gift ideas and my mom likes gnomes she used to um buy those garden gnomes um so I thought, what about what if I made her a macrame gnome using the beads I also use? So this is what I made, and it's an ornament. It's an ornament for her tree. And then I made her this one too. <laughs> so what do you think of them? Do you think that they're cute? I think that they're very cute. I hope. That she really likes them. Looks like I have to trim the top of that. I'll fix it. I'll fix it before I box it. But do you like them? I like them. Um, and then I thought, okay, you know what? I have all these old jeans. Um, not that they're old. It's that they're outgrown. Uh, <laughs> so I hung on to them. I used to always donate my denim jeans or my son's clothing but lately i thought you know what i want to make stuff with it 
So I tried out this little coaster just to try it. And it's, um, um, the inside is lined with an old towel, um, clean, of course, but it's one of my camping towels. So I don't really, I don't really care about it, but it's on the inside. And I thought, well, this, this works. I really like it, but it's not cute or nothing. And I, I was trying to trim it and then it'd fray. And I'm like, fray. Oh, okay. So I made the, I made, I'm just, I'm, because I wrapped it kind of, I made this with the frames and I really, really, really like it. Um, I embellished it with my cordage that I used for, the. I have lots of this jute, so that's what I used for that. I thought, oh, I really like these. Here's the back. And it's still with a uh, washcloth towel in between so it absorb any, you know, liquid. So I made a pair. I really like them. So these are for my brother. I made those. And then I just had some of this leftover uh, yarn green. So I just wrapped it. I, I'll wrap it up nicer, of course, but... I mean, I thought to show off the pair and just wrap it like that. I don't know. But then I thought, I really like these coasters. What if I made it bigger and made a pot holder? So this is a pot holder, same way. Um, it's here's the back, here's the front. Um, also with a washcloth in between, towel material, but I love it. I'm so impressed. I want to make more of these for myself, <laughs> but this is for my brother because, so I made something for my mom, I made her a set of these and I made these for my brother and then for my dad, I also made him one, but a bigger kind of slightly bigger because he like he has a bigger mug um i also have mugs and i fill them up with um hot chocolate mix and peppermint uh candy canes and a couple of chocolate bars so like the plain i feel like i'm rambling um but i i'm so impressed so i started off with this to this <laughs> I really like it I'm having fun making these so I want to make a couple more pot holders and in fact I could even like stencil on and paint like a little saying on here or an image I think I'd really like to try that I don't have any fabric paint right now so I'm not going to do that this year but for future projects I would definitely love to do that so I am here today, not only to show you the gifts I've been making, but okay, today I want to go through um, the beautiful gifts I got from Jenny and put it on a baby. So stay tuned and let's decide what baby and what outfit. Oh, look how cute he is. This is Leo. I named him Leo Devon, and he is the Max Sculpt by Lurley Eagles and Reborn by Wendy of Weeby Dolls, and I just love him. Aww. So, I had him in this uh, sleeper. Now, a lot of you from the video said that you loved, and I do too, we really love this Santa outfit so I agree let's see I hope it's not too big for Leo but I hope it'll fit I think it'll look really really cute and I found these socks that could match so <clears throat> I had to stop the video for a while 
I got into one of my coughing fits and I really don't like them, but <clears throat> I clean myself <laughs> clean myself up. Oh, okay. I know it was just a coughing fit, but <clears throat> anyways, enough about that. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. I love Wendy's painting. She like I don't know how she gets our skin tone. Like, I know I'm super white. <laughs> but, I mean, like, skin tone. She just gets my skin down so perfectly. I love it. So, this is the onesie that he came with. Canadian made. And, actually, I think I'll keep it on. Um, yeah, I keep his onesie on. Oh, look how sweet he is. Oh, I can't get over the sweetness. <clears throat> okay, so here's some socks. Speaking of Lowly Eagle Skulls, I follow her on Instagram and she posted recently of a beautiful and stunning nursery and wow it's beautiful and my wish one day i mean my collection is pretty large but i would love to be able to like obviously i can't afford the beautiful glass enclosures that she has like book bookcases like that but I would love to show my collection displayed like how she does or as close to she does. So I love her taste and obviously I love her babies. Lurley Eagles is my favorite sculptor. I own the most Lurley Eagles in my collection. Oh, it fits. It fits. Yay. Oh, my God. This is just making me smile so much. <laughs> oh. Um, literally, he looks like Brendan. Oh, my goodness. Brendan was lighter hair, though. <laughs> okay. Let's put on... Um, oh my goodness, this, this material is so soft, super soft. It's just, when I look at this, at him in this, I just feel instantly comfortable and cozy. Oh my goodness, oh it's so soft. <laughs> Let's check out this head. Okay, here's a take. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, my stomach is starting to act up again. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I can't get over it. Oh, my goodness. I need a picture. Let's see. How do I do that? Yeah, I think I took a picture. Um, I do have booties. Oh, my goodness. Wait. I just had to pick him up and give him a quick a little cuddle. No, it's just a hat. I think this fits him, oh my goodness, perfectly. Okay, I do have a few, I have three options. 
I have this brown pair that could fit them, maybe a bit big. I have a pair like this. This came with my Ellie Sue by Bonnie Brown that Wendy also reborn. This one came with my um <clears throat> my Rory Donovan. He is my Aurelia, Aurelia Ariella uh, awake. No, Ariella asleep from many years ago. And then there's this one that also I can't remember which baby this came with though. But I'm pretty sure it's from Wendy. So, which, like this, this dark navy, a gray, not the navy, or the brown. You, it's a toss between these two. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you think looks better? This one? Let's try them both. I'm pretty sure these ones will fit him better though. Because my Ariella um, sleep kit is like a bigger baby. <laughs> Aww. So there's this pair, a navy, or let's try on this pair. <clears throat> so whichever kind gets the most votes, I'll do a photo shoot with him wearing those boots on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I do have to prove you to follow me as is private. But I would love to do, oops, I would love to do a photo shoot with, and if I only get one vote, then I only get one vote. So the brown or these. So yes, guys, I'm going to go for now. Um, I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for the amazing year. And I hope that next year we'll have a lot more fun together. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Merry Christmas. I love you guys. Take care. Match hand, guys. Match hand. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.